Hey family, it's Kendra with your weekly devotion and today we're in Deuteronomy 33, 26 through 27 and this is an NIV translation. There is no one like God who rides across the heavens to help you on the clouds in his majesty. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will drive out your enemies before you saying, destroy them. Ooh, what a promise for God that to know that he is your helper in a time of need, that he will be your refuge and that he goes before you. He is your defender and he will make a way with your enemies. You know, one of the schemes of the enemy is that he wants to come kill, steal and destroy. And he will do that in relationships. He'll start in relationships. And um, in trying to come and kill, still and destroy relationships, what he's doing is trying to create separation. But God says that he will be your reference. He will be your defender and he will go before you. And so in times where you're in storms and chaos and you're just trying to make sense of things, sometimes in the midst of chaos, if you can't make sense, it's because you're in warfare. Enemies creating distraction and confusion. And so the best posture for you to be is to be still and be present with Jesus and allow him to envelop you in his arms and for him to be your way maker. So I want to encourage you in this week, if you're in one of those storms, I call them storms. Those are the seasons of life where things aren't making sense or they just don't seem to be working out or there's a lot of things falling apart. You know, that is part of the journey and it is a piece of warfare. And so our weapon of warfare and chaos is peace, to come into God's perfect peace, to come under his covering, to come under his protecting and allow him to be the one to fight your battles. There are seasons in warfare where you're going to lean into the wind and you're going to have to pray and intercede and love hard and be the one that comes. And my daughter always says, when do I have to stop taking the high road? The answer is never. You're always going to take the high road because love looks like something and love um, conquers fear and love covers all things. And then there's seasons where you're going to lay back and you're going to sit in the presence of God and you're just going to be quiet and be still. And you'll know if there's a season to be laying back. And in those moments, you be quiet and you allow God to be a defender and to fight your battles. The greatest um, arsenal I feel like we have in our uh, belt, if you will, is our, our prayer language and the Prince of Peace and being able to sit in the presence of Jesus and allow him to speak to us, wash over us in the truth and allow him to be our defender. So I want to bless you in this week. I speak to the storms in your life. I say a cease and desist right now in the powerful name of Jesus. God, I do thank you though in the valleys, in those times of being stretched, that you are refining our character and you're making us stronger for the journey. You're making us stronger for the things that you've created us for. And so God, you say to count it all joy. And so we do count it joy, knowing that you are in the midst. You see the beginning from the end. You know where you're taking us. And we put our trust in you, God, that you're going to take all things that the enemy intended for destruction and you're going to turn it to good for those whose eyes are upon you, which is us, which is us, Papa. And so I want to pray a blessing over you, blessing over your week. And I want to release the Prince of Peace in your atmosphere that you will rest and know that God is for you. Have an amazing week.